Hello and welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung. We're taking a look here at VMware Workstation version 10 and we're going to take a look at two of the best new features I think that are in this version. Now there are a lot more features that are pretty cool but I think these are the coolest that in my mind. First one is to set a VM to expire. Now why would you want that? Well if you're going to take this VM and give it to your friend and you will only want your friend to have it for 30 days let's say and then it's gonna basically blow up or let's say you are a vendor and you want someone to have a trial version of software for 14 days two weeks you can set that to expire after 14 days and it's all good so it's pretty easy to set up let's say right here I've got a VM my CSR 1000 V downloaded from Cisco and already set up simply right click go to settings then inside of settings, click on the options tab and then go to access control. Now in access control, you have two main things. You can encrypt something and you can set restrictions here. So passwords and expirations down here. Now you can't configure anything down here until you encrypt it. So we're going to click on encrypt. We're going to give it a password, a wonderful ABC123, ABC123. We hit encrypt and then it's scrambling my VM going to wait a little bit. Now this is pretty quick because it's on SSD, but if you have this on a hard drive, you might have to wait a little longer. Actually, you probably will have to wait a lot longer. After I've encrypted everything, then I go down here to restrictions. I click on that checkbox. So you can see right there, restrict the user from modifying this virtual machine. So basically that makes it a read only as far as the settings over here. So that's all in good. But down here, we have uh, two things that are pretty interesting. Allow USB devices to be connected to this virtual machine. So that's check mark. but if you don't want people to plug in, let's say, a USB stick and then it hits that virtual machine, uh, then you can uncheck it if you don't like that to happen. Now, why would you restrict that? Well, maybe you have some information inside of that VM. Well, if, if you had allowed this to be checked like it is here, then someone could theoretically plug in a USB stick. It would pass through to the VM and then you would simply drag the information from inside the VM to the USB stick because VMware does have USB pass through. So we could uncheck that to prevent that from, from happening. But the reason we're here is if you click on that checkbox expire the virtual machine after such and such date and time which is really really cool so basically you are time bombing this machine we do have an advanced tab here you could put a message if you want uh, this is really handy show this message when the machine is about to expire so you could say display this message one day before kind of like just a warning like dude something's going to happen and then we could specify a server with uh, some restrictions, so restriction management server. Okay, so pretty easy utility or pretty easy feature to implement. I could definitely see a lot of use coming from this, especially in the, the software world where you want customers to demo something uh, for free. You know, a lot of customers you know, in the enterprise that want a proof of concept, a POC of your software, just to see how it works and if it can fit their environment. So I could definitely see this happening. Okay, so that was encrypting and also time bombing a virtual machine. The second feature, which is really, really nice, is if you come from VMware Workstation version 9, you remember that there were... 10 virtual networks that you had. So in VMware Workstation version 10, if we right click and go to settings, you can see that you know, I've got my network adapters for this particular machine. This particular machine has three network adapters, but if I right click or just click and then go down here to custom, as I click the drop down, you can see there are actually 20. So it goes from zero to 19 for 20, 20 VM nets. So that is a hell of a lot of virtual uh, virtual connections that you could do. So you could be doing 16 CSR 1000 Vs all connected. You could use all 20 if you wanted to, and you would basically have a complete CCIE level lab for those of you guys who are going for CCIE. It can be done on a single laptop, very port well, portable in the sense of you can put it in your backpack. Not that light, but it can be done. You know pound in 32 gigs RAM on that laptop and you are good to go with a very very powerful lab. So second big feature and I think 
more importantly, probably the best feature for those of you guys who are studying for serious Cisco stuff and you want to be going the 1000 Vs or the iOS XRV virtual routers, this is where you would go to hook everything up so that the routers can communicate with each other. And I am going to have a video in the future that will show you exactly how to do that. All right, that was a quick and dirty video on VMware Workstation 10, the time bombing, the expiration date of VMs, how to set that up, and also just showing off real quickly the 20 VM nets, the 20 virtual interfaces inside. Once again, my name's Humphrey Chung with Router Gods. Thanks for watching.